Hang on, Gabe. Didn't you forget something? Oh, right. I forgot radishes. Yum. Uh, no. He means you didn't say grace. You know, like prayer. I'm confused. How do I pray for a sardine sandwich? Why would God want to hear about that? Can I talk to God about anything? Should I book an appointment? Do I need a megaphone? Should I do a fancy cartwheel wearing a funny hat? Can I pray to God even when I'm singing flat? Don't worry about it, Gabe. It's easy. Yeah, no sweat. You Whoa, don't need to spin around till your stomach gets upset. You don't need to read a script. Or speak with fancy words. God hears what's in your heart. So tell him your concerns. You can pray for those you love, like your friends and your family. But don't stop there. You can pray for your enemy. Anytime is fine to bring your problems big and small. Give each and every one to him. God cares for, for them all. all. Pray. Because he's listening. Even when you're whispering, pray. He'll give you peace within. Pray, 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 pray. pray, pray. Any time or place. In each and every case. Pray to, to help, help you run, run the race. race. Pray, 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 pray. Now that I know that praying is easy, I'm going to pray to God about everything. I'm going to pray to God for everything. When the milk's expired, toast on fire, and I got a bee sting. When it's early in the morning or in the afternoon, I know God will hear my voice even under. There's no oxygen. No one can hear you. God can! Pray! pray. It'll pray. help you grow. Pray when the answer's no. Oh. Pray. Trust the Lord, he knows. Pray, 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 pray. 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 When you sing a song, pray. pray. When the loading's long, pray. pray. When you spell it wrong, pray, 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 pray. 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 When you're feeling smug, pray. pray. With your favorite mug, pray. Pray, 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 pray. 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 Ephesians 6.18 says, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. In Jesus' name, Amen! It's Coco Talk! Today's guest, Tessa the Text Bubble, with a message about prayer and our friend Fruitcake with tips on writing letters. Now, our hosts, Coco and Marsha. Welcome, everyone. I'm really excited to talk to our guests today. You say that about all our guests. It's true, but today's guest loves to talk to and listen to people. Boy, do I know some people who love to talk. I guess you could consider me someone who loves to talk. I do have a talk show. Exactly. And you do love to talk and talk and talk and talk on your talk show. Yes, I do. And on today's show, we're talking to Tessa the Text Bubble about prayer. She knows about prayer? Yeah. In the same way we talk to God in prayer, Tessa helps people talk and listen to each other by sending messages. Ooh, I wonder what her favorite message is. Let's ask her. Thanks for joining us, Tessa. What's your favorite message? Aw, same here. How do you feel about helping people talk to each other? Ooh, if you could have any food right now, what would it be? You're still hungry, aren't you? You bet I am. Hmm, seems like she's taking a while here. It looks like she's thinking. Ooh, she really is thinking. You're really keeping us on the edge of our seats over here. This reminds me of how it can feel when we pray. God always listens when we talk to him. Sometimes, though, we have to wait patiently for God to respond in his timing. God can really listen to everyone who talks to him? Yes. The Bible says the Lord is close to all who pray to him. So anyone can pray to God? Absolutely. All you have to do is talk to him. Prayer is a conversation. Good thing I can really talk. Maybe I could be a better listener, though. Speaking of listening, I can't wait to hear what Tessa's favorite food is. All of those foods sound delicious. Actually, right before meals is a great time to talk to God in prayer, like at Thanksgiving. I think we have a shot of last year's feast. Wow, 
And I thought I was hungry before. Tessa, what is your favorite time to talk to God? Oh man, we're out of time. Thanks again for being here, Tessa. It was great talking with you. And Fruke, send us one of your letters. <laughs> Today's devotional is Morning Prayers. Our verse is Psalm 143, 8. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life.
Let's talk. What did we learn? What was the polar bear having trouble doing? What's the first thing you do in the morning? How do we live out what we've just learned? Psalm 143 verse 8 reminds us to talk to God first thing every day and ask Him to show us which way to go. How can we make talking to God part of our family routine? Why do you think it's important to start your day by talking to God? Let's pray together. Let's ask God to always show us which way we should go throughout the day. It's Coco Talk! Today's guests brighten the bread with a message about the Lord's Prayer. And our friend Fruitcake with friendly talking tips. Now our hosts, Coco and Marsha! Welcome everyone! Today, Brighten the Bread is here to share about the Lord's Prayer. Which one? The Lord's Prayer. Uh, the Lord Jesus prayed a lot. Yes, but there was one prayer he prayed to teach the disciples how to pray. It goes like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. What does hallowed mean? It means honor, like to show respect. Oh, so we start by honoring God's name. Exactly. Then it goes, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Wait, like a castle kind of kingdom? No, it's saying we know that God is the ruler of all, even on earth. He has power over everything, and because he is good and loving, we can trust him. Yeah, I love that he hears us when we pray. He hears us and he answers what is best for us. Then we pray, Give us this day our daily bread. Like Brighton. Yep. This reminds us that God provides exactly what we need each day. After that, we ask and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Debt or what? Is this part of the prayer about money? No. Debtor. It's about forgiveness. Jesus is the best example of forgiving people. He sure is. The rest of the prayer is... Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Ooh, the evil one? That sounds scary. We don't have to be scared because God is watching over us. <sighs> that is good. Oh, I just remembered that I made something to remind me of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Wow. Did you add that last part in? I'm not familiar with that ending. Coco, I can't believe you don't know this prayer. I do know it. We just went over... Never mind. Let's ask Brighton about... Is it really time to wrap up already? Thanks for being here, Brighton, and Fruitcake. We so wanted to hear your tips on talking, or really just to hear you talk in general. I bet you have a beautiful voice. Talk to you all next time on Coco, Coco Talk. Did you love that video? Hit subscribe or ask your parents to download the Middle Kids app.